We've created nearly 2 million jobs. 2 million jobs. Think of that. We used to lose millions. Now we've created 2 million jobs since I won the election. And I want to say since you won the election. I didn't win the election. You won the election. And we will create countless more if we can sustain the 3 percent growth rate we have achieved for the past two quarters. But we're going to do much better than that. Remember, I used to say we can hit four and we can hit three, and they were all saying, forget it, forget it. It was 1.2. It was doing terribly. We were flat. We were even. In all fairness, the stock market was going this way. And now we're hitting numbers that nobody thought possible, certainly not in this time. And the numbers going up are going to be much better than anybody anticipates. In fact, they're going to say, that Trump is the opposite of an exaggerator, the exact opposite. <laughs> They're going to start saying, Governor, that he ought to be a little bit more optimistic because his predictions were low. Can you believe it? You know, a year and a half ago, they were saying, oh, he can't do that. Now they're saying, hmm, that was quick. <laughs> but by the way, the Commerce Department announced this morning that our GDP, that's the big one, in the third quarter grew even faster than they reported previously. They made a mistake. They were too low. They had it at 3 percent. By the way, 3 percent. Did you ever think you'd hear that in less than a year? And now it comes in at 3.3 percent, which is the largest increase in many years. And if we didn't have the hurricanes, we would have been at 4 percent. The hurricanes were devastating. And I said they're worth a point. They said they were worth like 0 .006. But I said they were worth a point. We would have been at 4 percent, maybe even over 4 percent. But we had hurricanes. We took care of them. In Texas and Florida, they did a great, great job, amazing job, tremendous leadership. And we're very proud. Puerto Rico has been a very tough situation because of the fact that it was in very, very bad shape before the storms ever hit. But they're doing well there, and it's healing, and it's getting better, and we're getting them power and all of the things that they have to have. But I want to tell you that a lot of brave people in every state, we have great, great people, and it's our number one resource, believe me. Really great. But in order to achieve this bright and glowing future, the Senate must pass those tax cuts, bring Main Street roaring back, and that's what's going to happen. This is all done without the tax cuts. And I'm not sure that people even believe the tax cuts. I want to see what happens. And the big day will be either tomorrow or the next day. I would say, do it now. We're ready. <laughs> I said to the Republicans, and I want to tell you, these are good people. They really want to. And I know they get hit hard, the senators, the congressmen, but they're all working hard. It's not so easy. It's complicated stuff. It's not so easy. But we had an incredible session yesterday. And I think we're there. That's why I said, let's do Can we do the vote today? What do I know? I'm a business guy. Can we do the vote now? Well, they said, how about Friday? I said, I don't want to wait till Friday. <laughs> right, Billy? I said, Billy, can we do the vote? Get me to vote. Well, Billy's already passed it, so. And then what happens, if it passes, it goes into this beautiful committee, this beautiful, I call it a pot. And we mix it up, and we stir it up, and we bring all the best things out. And you're going to have something, I predict, that will be really, really special. So right now, it really is. Really is. So right now, America's tax code is a total dysfunctional mess. The current system has cost our nation millions of American jobs, trillions and trillions of dollars, and billions of hours wasted on paperwork and compliance. It is riddled with loopholes that let some special interests, including myself, in all fairness, this is going to cost me a fortune, this thing. Believe me. Believe me. This is not good for me. Me, it's not so. I have some very wealthy friends. Not so happy with me, but that's okay. You know, I keep hearing Schumer, deuces for the wealthy. Well, if it is, my friends don't know about it. <laughs> I have to explain why. Now, it is great for companies. 
because companies are going to bring back jobs, and we're lowering the rates very substantially. But right now, we're bringing the rates down from 35 percent, which is totally non-competitive, the highest industrialized nation in the world by far, and we're bringing it all the way down to 20 percent. But that's good. That's good for everybody in the room, whether you have a company or whether you want a job, because we're going to bring back jobs. And what we've had is a massive giveaway to foreign countries, which encourage businesses to relocate offshores. And you've seen what's happened before this. This is really a most proud, because as bad as our tax code is, we have Toyota, we have big car companies coming back in, building plants in Michigan and other places. We have a lot of businesses coming back in. And they see what's happening. They see what's going on. That's why they're doing Our current code is a giant, and really it is, it's a self-inflicted economic wound. It's been that way for so many years, and nobody wanted to do anything about it. But all that will change, and it will change immediately if Congress sends a tax cut and reform bill, the biggest tax cut in the history of our country, bigger than Reagan. If they send it to my desk, I promise all of the people in this room, my friends, so many friends in this room, it's a great state. I promise you I will sign it. I promise. I will not veto that bill. There will be no veto. Under the plan moving forward in the Senate, a typical family of four earning $75,000, as an example, will see their taxes go down by as much as $2,000. That's a lot. Now, we're doing that not just to help people. We're doing that because it helps our country. You're going to take that $2,000, and maybe you'll save some, and you're going to spend some. And we're going to make product back in our country again. You know, it's going to be made here. It's going to be made elsewhere but it's going to be made here. We're opening up plants, we're opening up factories, and we're going to be great to small business. Where do you see the final product? Where do you see what finally comes out in what I call the mixer? The beating heart of our plan is a tax cut for working families. That's what it is. We're going to make sure <laughs> that you keep more of your hard-earned money we're going to make sure also that you have a job that you want. You're going to have choice. You know, in education, we now have choice. Good word. Here, you're going to have a choice. You're not just going to have one job. You're going to have a choice of many jobs. People are moving back into our country. Under our plan, the first $12,000 of income earned by a single individual will be totally income tax-free. Zero. And a married couple won't pay one dime of income tax on their first $24,000 of income. Zero. Our plan will significantly increase the child tax credit and make it available to more middle-class families because the single most important investment our nation can make is in our children. Do we agree? You agree? You better agree. Families will also benefit from a new credit for other dependents like a child in college or an elderly loved one. We have our mothers, our fathers, you have your grandparents, you have people that are elderly that have done a fantastic job. They've grown old. You want to help them. Now we are going to help you help them. We're also going to eliminate tax breaks and complex loopholes taken advantage of by the wealthy. Who are they? I don't know. I think my accountants are going crazy right now. It's all right. Hey, look, I'm president. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Some of my wealthy friends care. Me, I don't care. This is a higher calling. Do we agree? As Hillary said, 
what difference does it make? It made a difference. Made, it made a big difference. Made a big, big difference. We want a tax code that is simple and fair, and that's for all Americans. The plan that senators will be voting on this week, hopefully as soon as possible, closes the loopholes that corporations use to shift their profits to tax havens, and it eliminates deductions for CEO salaries over $1 million. You see what some of these people are making. A little ridiculous. I'm driving up their stock. They're making a fortune. Then they go to their board, and they tell everybody what a great job they're doing. But what am I going to do? And many of them, honestly, I don't like. Oh, some of these bankers, I don't like them, and they're making a fortune. And it's one of those things. Steve knows a couple of them that I'm talking about, doesn't he? They're saying what a great job they do. Right now, anybody could do their job because we're making it easy for them, because we're giving them a great and strong economy, and because we've cut regulations more than any president in the history of this country by far, and that's for full terms. That's not for 10 months. And it allows builders to build, and it allows farmers to farm. You know what I've done for farmers? Where if you had a little puddle in the middle of your field, you go to jail if you touch it, right? You know what I'm talking about. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. And it allows bankers to lend. It allows bankers to lend again. So many people came up to me and they said, we had a 20-year relationship with a bank. We never had a default. We never had a bad loan. Now we go back to the bank and they say, we can't do business with you anymore because they don't qualify, even though they're better than the people that do qualify. It's incredible. But we're back to the strong days of our banks. And not the days of trouble. Pre that, we're back to the strong, where bankers can make loans and community bankers can make great loans to good people. <laughs>